Celebrities. Hijinks. Some things just go together and this is one of them. While many celebrities prefer to live their lives in peace and generally try to keep a low profile, others can't help but use the spotlight to show the world just how unhinged they are. Gwyneth Paltrow, Jared Leto, Chrissy Teigen, Justin Bieber, the list truly goes on. And it turns out that this list includes Cole Sprouse, famed child actor and B-list celebrity. Tumblr seems like the last social media that any celebrity would choose to use, but Cole Sprouse would go down in Tumblr history when his bizarre stint on the website became a social experiment gone wrong. Today, let's discuss Cole Sprouse's Tumblr experiment. Before we get into the video, I have some very exciting news. Izzy's plushies are here. Yes, that's right. For a limited time only, you can get your very own Izzy's demon plush, complete with dead-eyed stare and totally not copyrighted orange cat merchandise. This little clown demon will only be available at Makeshift for a limited time, and once they're gone, they're gone five ever. So head over to makeshift.com or head to the link in the description to grab one now. On another note, just before we start, I want to give a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is basically basically a huge online learning community where you can take classes on every topic you could possibly think of from writing to graphic design to filmmaking to music to health and fitness to animation and everything in between. I've actually been trying to get more into creative writing recently so I took Myla Goldberg's creative writing bootcamp class and learned a lot about character, world and story. It's not just writing though, pretty much anything you can think of there's a class for it from making enamel pins to playing the piano to cooking and much more. Whether you want to learn new skills, level up the skills you already have or find new passions, Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. It's also incredibly affordable at less than $10 a month with an annual subscription and the first thousand subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can get out there and find some cool classes and learn some new skills. Honestly, learning new things and seeing yourself grow and get better at a skill is one of the most satisfying things in life, or at least my life, and Skillshare's classes make it not only possible but super fun. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and now let's get on with the story of Cole Sprouse's Tumblr experiment. Let's set the scene, it's 2012 and Tumblr is at its peak. While nowadays the site has a bit of a negative reputation, back in the early 2010s it was earnestly viewed as a very hip and cool website. People viewed it as kind of like an indie version of Twitter or Instagram, and this was years before Bonegazi or Dashcon, so the site wouldn't have the unhinged reputation that it does now. Anyway, kids and teens were all about Tumblr, and aside from that legend about Taylor Swift having a 4chan, it's pretty uncommon to find celebrities out in the online wild to be on Instagram, Twitter, and maybe Reddit if they they're doing an AMA. Now Cole Sprouse is a lot more popular these days than he was back in 2012 thanks to his truly breathtaking performance as Jughead on Riverdale. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in and I don't want to fit in. Have you ever seen me without this stupid hat on? That's weird. Despite the uh dubious quality of the show, it gained a huge audience and kind of launched Cole Sprouse back into the public conscience. If you didn't know, before his role as Jughead Jones, Cole Sprouse was a pretty prolific child actor, starring in a number of big name shows. His most famous role was Cody from the hit Disney show The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, where he starred alongside his twin brother Dylan. He also starred in the sequel spin-off show The Sweet Life on Deck, which was totally the better one, don't at me. After this, he would guest star in a number of popular shows, from Hannah Montana to Wizards of Waverly Place to that so Raven. My point is he was fairly famous and though his roles would kind of drop off around 2012, he was still regarded as a big old Hollywood celebrity. This is why it was so shocking to Tumblr denizens when in September of 2012, Cole Sprouse announced to his fans that he would be launching a Tumblr blog. It was called Culture Concept and he invited his fans to use the blog to quote, discuss the issues that matter. Tumblr users soon fell totally in love with Cole Sprouse and his blog and he kind of became Tumblr's biggest obsession. Most Tumblr users at the time had grown up watching him on Disney Channel and feeling both nostalgic and starstruck, his blog quickly gained a following and was flooded with hundreds of asks. Culture Concept actually started off as a simple photography blog showcasing Cole's photos but would eventually become far more involved. Cole would post pretty often sharing photography, audio and writing. It also became really pretentious. He wasn't exactly shy about his love for philosophy and anthropology and would post really long and obnoxious posts waxing poetic about the nature of humanity and philosophy. A rose bush constantly pruned for beauty will never reach its tallest height. Cole, do you even speak like you write? said there a lot. Does anyone? How the translation from the air and voice to the muscles in the hand and then to the eyes as a means of vocal or written expression takes place. I am not familiar. Did I fall in love with you? 
or did I foolishly fall in love with your love? Yeah, it was a total cheese fest and Cole Sprass seemed to have a lot of really deep philosophical thoughts that he had to get out into the world, I guess. But his blog also revealed a more relatable side that Tumblr users couldn't get enough of. He liked the Pokemon, he liked the Adventure Time, he liked the anime, he was just like you or me. He would post silly photos of himself and make random jokes and this made him all the more relatable and endearing to his Tumblr fanbase. He also frequently answered asks and this is probably the biggest reason that his blog was so popular. Tumblr users felt like they could have a real interaction with a real celebrity and due to how often and how honestly he answered these asks, they continued to pile up. It's kind of hard to imagine Cole Sprouse being this huge Tumblr sensation, but for that one month that his blog was up, he was insanely popular and the hype around him was increasing with every post. Multiple sites reported on Culture Concept, from a popular live journal blog that garnered over 300 comments on their article to the news site Crushable. The move to make a Tumblr blog had clearly boosted his online popularity and his fanatic audience continued to grow. However, there were a few kind of bizarre posts on there. In one post he seems to engage with another Tumblr user in a heated argument about race and another post where he compares Tumblr to quote, a nursery filled with kids who defecate on themselves. This kind of came out of the blue and put into question whether Cole actually liked his Tumblr audience or not. These would not be the only strange posts found on Culture Concept though. The actor would make numerous long-winded posts discussing the nature of celebrity and parasocial relationships. I keep getting messages that say, Cole, you're perfect, you're awesome, I love you. No you don't, let me make that clear, what you're feeling is infatuation. When I receive a message saying something like, Cole, you're a shining example of a human being. I like it of course, no one dislikes outright flattery, but that isn't the point and never will be for this blog. My point is to make people who unconsciously like me to question, why do I like him? Is he different than what I am? No, that is the point, no. You have the ability to break past barriers that lower your own self-esteem, barriers set by media. If I need to take ugly photos or make a fool of myself, fine. This is what needs to be realized. I am not one of you. You are not one of us. We are each so vastly different and complex. A few of these strange posts, in hindsight, might have actually been subtle clues for what was to come. Every time I give you my ideas, I'm trying to get you to believe them. I posted this photo, a nice change in facial expression for reasons I won't say. It is anthropological. Call it my little experiment. On November the 18th, a little over a month after he had started his Tumblr blog, Cole Sprouse made his final post. So my goal for this website was accomplished. I got all the information that I needed and now I'm deleting this account. Thanks to all who watched, read and listened. I hope that in some small way my words carried weight. Next time you see or hear from me, I will most definitely be a changed man. Before I go, I'll answer a question that people keep asking about my ring. The ring is the skull of a chameleon. The chameleon can see everything that happens around it. Constantly aware of its environment, the small reptile changes color depending on the situation it enters. Its very special form of adaption is one I try to mimic every time I enter a space I try to become aware of what I step into and change my color accordingly. The way I move, feel, argue, and all the discourse of my life changes in order to succeed within that space. This adaption to environmental and social pressure will allow me to succeed, much like Darwin had so brilliantly noted. You take a role and embrace it, but know that you are never whole, and those who fall in love with you or likewise fall for your performance, not you, for you, is never constant. My life is Lochiness. Lokiness? How do you pronounce that? So this next line, um, <laughs> the word Lokiness, I didn't know that word, so I googled it to know how to, like, pronounce it properly, and it turns out it's not a real word. It's a word that Cole Sprouse made up. Here's, here's the description that someone else read analyzing this. Loki, as everyone knows, is a Norse god, prone to evil deeds and trickery and even generally fond of them. Nurs means mind or intellect, though defined by Merriam-Webster, it can also mean reason. Therefore, Loki-ness, a term obviously fabricated by Cole, means to have Loki's reasoning. <laughs> <laughs> My life is lokiness, but there are many levels to deceit, and cheating is only frowned upon when you're caught. So goodbye, and remember that the next time you see or hear from me, I will, most definitely, be a changed man. What? Needless to say, Tumblr users were baffled by this weird post. They had kind of grown used to his usual philosophical deep posting, but what was all this about him deleting his blog? And what information had he been gathering? Tumblr users scrambled to archive and screen grab all of the post on Culture Concept, and one Tumblr user managed to grab his username and archive most of the blog before he deactivated. Obviously, everyone was super confused. As far as they knew, the blog was just for Cole to post photos and writing and reply to fans. A few days after the blog's deletion, 
Cole made a Twitter thread where he described his time on Tumblr as a social experiment and condescended to his fans. It was a truly bizarre scene and one that really just has to be read to be believed. Well, the Tumblr results are in. I suppose I've given this enough time to fester. 1. The goal was to see how a group of people reacted to a suggestion of being observed. Some of you guessed this, good job. 2. I never actually stated you guys were part of an experiment or project. Go back and read the final post. 3. You guys forgot about everything I said in my previous post, jumped to conclusions, and changed your disposition to me. Interesting. 4. Even if I did conduct a report on this, which I'm not, you think I would do it without your permission? I love you too much, not really. 5. You guys reacted exactly how I thought you would, gaining nothing from what I said and acting like I betrayed you. Success and shame. 6. I don't know you, you don't know me. People have the capability of being nice and mean. Don't blindly follow someone. 7. I had fun, hope you did too. We laughed, we even cried tears of a baby angel. So remember the good, not the bad. P.S. I will not be making another Tumblr. All the people who say they're me are lying. Endless Rage, Cole M. W. Sprouse. And people lost their shit. <laughs> the anger and vitriol towards Cole Sprouse was insane, like Tumblr users were super mad about it. Cole admitted that he never really had any interest in Tumblr or its users and was basically just playing everyone, which really pissed people off. One Tumblr user summed up why they were angry about it, quote, If you want to take this the bad way, then he was spying on all of us for the world, leaking out our information, pretending to be one of us, only to find that he was a fraud, etc. The pretending to be one of us was what upset me because I was truly excited that he had been a part of what I like to think of as an escape in my life, something that helps me a great deal, but I never bashed or hate him in return. And I kind of get it. When you boil it all down, Cole Sprouse basically made a Tumblr page encouraging his fans to interact with him, deleted the blog because hashtag prank, and then insulted his fans on Twitter for having the gall to like him, I guess. Don't get me wrong, he made a lot of valid points about celebrity fan relationships. I totally agree that fans have this weird false perception of celebrities in their head and it all gets very toxic and weird. And it's totally fine to write about these topics, but baiting your fans into participating in this illegitimate social experiment just so you can turn around and scold them for it? It was incredibly strange behavior and really annoyed a lot of people. Even those who weren't actively angered by it generally found it to be embarrassing and silly and would make memes and tease Cole for his weird antics. Probably not the reception he was hoping for. The whole thing became a pretty big story both in and outside of Tumblr. Memes began circulating about Cole's heartbreaking betrayal and someone even changed his Wikipedia page to reflect his new villainy. Large publications like Buzzfeed and The Daily Dot even wrote articles covering the situation and the subsequent backlash. Side note, that Daily Dot article is hilarious because it claims that Cole made an apology on his Twitter but the Twitter they linked to is an unverified fan LARPing as Cole Sprouse. With such classic tweets as, so Michelle Obama and other people sent me DMs, ahaha, <laughs> thank you. And I was logged in on my official account right now, but I'm back here again. Sure you were. Theories began circulating about the social experiment and some people thought that there was a little more to the situation than Cole was letting on. Some people thought that due to that heated argument about race that he ended up having with another Tumblr user, he became soured to the website and did this out of spite. Others believe that he just got bored of the website and he had shown contempt for the users before, so some believe that he just kind of wanted to go out with a bang, I guess. Anyway, Cole actually ended up deleting this thread, perhaps due to the huge amount of backlash that he received. He made another post containing containing a meme of a possum sitting in a box of pastries with the caption, do what you must, I have already won. Hashtag Tumblr Ozymandias. This post and another one linking to the song Careless Whisper were the only tweets that Cole left up. While the backlash did eventually die down, this event solidified Cole Sprouse as a villain on Tumblr. Going through the culture concept tag will reveal a flood of angry posts and memes directed at Cole and his experiment. He was added to a bunch of those Your Fave is Problematic blogs that were really big back then. Does anyone remember those? There were many other reasons that he was labeled as problematic and some really serious reasons at that, but weirdly enough, on Tumblr, it was the social experiment that made everyone hate him and think he was a trash human being. Cole Sprouse's Tumblr experiment has gone down in the Internet Hall of Fame as one of Tumblr's most bizarre stories. But why is that? Well, to put it bluntly, it was just a really weird thing to do. I mean, it wasn't even really a social experiment. All the man did was make a Tumblr account and delete it a month later. Despite all his talk of studies and results and data, he never published anything about his findings, and it wasn't really clear what exactly 
exactly he was studying either. It was basically just vague anthropology student nonsense. The whole situation was incredibly strange and while I think Cole thought that he was going to be celebrated and praised for his introspective philosophical too real for you experiment, most people found it weird, goofy and embarrassing. These days Cole has clearly moved on from his Tumblr past but with how widely memed and popular this situation is, I don't think it's going to be something that he can ever live down. Anyway, with all that said and the story all wrapped up, I have something to admit to you guys. This YouTube channel has been a social experiment this whole time. The results are fascinating, but I won't be sharing them. Bye! Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed that video. If you ever have any other topics you want me to cover, definitely let me know. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring me. It was a really cool sponsorship. I've honestly been hoping to be sponsored by them for a while because I really like love their platform. So um, yeah, thank you to them for sponsoring me. Thanks to you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you so much to my Garfield overlords over on Patreon. X17chan, Aiden McFan, Arcantilus, Astrium Vortex, Dozo Blint, Kerbicon, Erin, Gyro Gyro Bredito, Helm Hamburger Hand, Jesse Chisholm, Lady Cerebellum, Sheriff Whiskey, Sophie Skidder, The Fabu Librarian, Finley, Grip Gunderson, Icarus, John Leach, Pom, Sir Jalen III, Xavier Araujo, Tyson, Charlie B, Ryan W, Simon, Jordan Nielsen, Agarafin, American Guild, Joe Bradshaw, John Charles Davey, Kendall Pachalik, Missy Robin, Princess Bossy Boots, Red Meth, and Vampiric Misfit. Thank you guys so much for supporting as always. If you want to join these guys over on Patreon, the link will be in the description. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!